welcome those of you who run from the destruction and those of you who embrace it as well. Yes, indeedy, I got this from Salute last year. Sadly, no Salute this year, but uh, obviously the XL being used for very important things. It's nice to get a hospital at the moment, so good luck to everyone there, whether you are um, hopefully recovering or if you're being one of the heroes working there as well. So good luck to everyone. Um, but I've got this Maelstrom's Edge, look. It's a 28 mil. There we are. Super big box. It's got everything you want to play. Two, two uh, starter set character models in there, troops, special types of models in there too, um, and lots of other stuff. So we're going to have a look in, inside. I was really impressed by the um, guys that were on, on the table selling it. Now I got this actually from another table. It was it was on offer, but I have bought some new boxes of stuff from the from, from the manufacturers directly because I wanted to support them too. So um, I love the models so much. I'm, I'm going to try and play the game, but even if I don't play the game, the models are worth getting on their own in my opinion because they're they're super ace so um we're gonna go in and have a look at the box so i've opened the box already because i say it came opened i've checked and most if not all the bits are in it so uh, we don't have to uh we don't have to cut the box open and sadly i don't get new box smell which is one of my favorite things in in gaming as regular viewers um might might know so uh, yeah let's have a look inside i've not opened anything up inside though so there's lots of stuff still in bags etc now i don't know what sides there are in it or anything so i am singularly unqualified to tell you about the game itself because i've not played it yet so i, I just know little bits and bobs so um this is the free rule book there's a rule book in here somewhere there it is, all wrapped up. Woo, spruce everywhere, lovely. There's a rule book in here. There you go, Ooh, put that like so, there we go. Brilliant, there we go, full color and everything. Marvelous. Superb. So that's really good. I think there's some videos out there as well teaching you how to play the game too, um, which I'll be looking at and if there's any uh, more to do on that, you know, maybe make a video or two of us playing. What do you think? I'm not sure. See if we can get, find anyone to play us at it. Um, but this is a free online rule book as well. So I've not checked the website yet. I don't know if it's still up and running. Hope it is. Hope it is. I'm going to check that out. And you can get an e-copy for free as well. I think it's worth about like a tenner or something like that normally. So uh, yeah, let's have a look at what's in the box. So I'll start with these chunky chaps. These seem to be some sort of carist enclave heavy trooper. So we've got a lot of uh, of armor there on the torsos, two part torsos, those are. Um, there we go. Um, chunky, but chunky on purpose because they, they look like they're kind of heavy elite, uh, detailed nonetheless, um, legs there. Uh, heavy weaponry looks like a very substantial type of assault rifle and maybe some kind of auxiliary um, heavier or support type weapon there chunky bit of plastic all plastic this chunky bit of plastic that as well so two sprues of that it looks like initially um, so I'm saying gonna say actually I thought there were four no that looks like a, a front and a back front and a back there so uh, I would say that that's four of those troopers on the two sprues. Brilliant, there we go. So they look great. That's a really good start. Let's have a look. Let's get in on this toe. There we go. Well, that was easy. Yeah, very good. And uh, these, oh, these are lighter. There's a lighter sprue, this. I'll see why it was packed separately. Oh, quickly bit of paper there. Get rid of that environmentally. Now, I think these are some sort of drone. Is the uh, 
Epirian Enclave use a lot of uh, drones and some of their characters actually are, are, I believe are drone controller type people so they're kind of technician stroke radio controllers and they uh, they control the drones as they fight as they fight with them that's quite cool so uh, there's one packet of those two two packets Ooh, three. Oh, looks like these, these guys do like drones, don't they? Yes, they do indeed. Four? My goodness, are these all, are these all drones? No, it looks like there's two of them on each sprue. So, uh, yeah, it looks like there's two of them on each sprue. I think so. Yeah, so that's... Uh, Eight of those, it would it would seem. Apologies if any if I'm mistaken any of this, I'll uh, we'll see see when we put them together, I guess. I'll certainly show you them when I've put them together. These I'm gonna show you, these are exciting. I've seen these on the table, they actually sell these separately, but I'm gonna keep those till last. They are very exciting. So the Epirians get big robots and drones and stuff like that. The the Karist Conclave get these creatures. These are aliens they've befriended or enslaved, or who knows who's enslaved who? You never know. I've got to read on and find out. But they get these um, ace, big kind of um, insectoid or arachnoid aliens, which uh, look dead impressive. Um, very cool indeed. I've, I've seen a couple of pictures of these, and uh, you can see the uh, the biological bent of them so uh yeah excited about excited about them and then we've got these gents here looks like cloaks and wavy bits of cloth and stuff so maybe that's a character model i don't know because as i say i believe character models you don't have to go out and buy more character models of this i believe character models are in, included in the original box and finally we've got these interesting looking things these are i think called minnows and they're a kind of the fly flyers of the of the carists, I think, and I don't know where they are. It could be that I've just misidentified them because I think there are some flying drones that the Epirian Enclave get. But uh, instead of uh, flying drones, the carists get these kind of flying angelic aliens, which look ace, I think. So these are contractor drones. So these are the humans that accompany the Epirians with their long arms there and uh, torsos, bodies, etc. Wonderful. Um, slightly smaller. What I like is some of the um, larger infantry, very chunky, but still very detailed. But this just shows you that it's on purpose in that these 28 mil models are smaller because there's a scale to the normal humans. Um, so you can really tell the difference between kind of a normal um, infantryman and then a more heavily armoured uh, gent. So they're all in scale and they're all in scale to each other as well. And I actually really appreciate that in the system. And this is a handler. So this is an, um, a character model. See this box set, you get characters in it too. Don't have to buy those extra. I'm sure you can buy extra ones, but uh, it's really nice to be able to put a proper army together when you get a starter box, don't you? I, I appreciate that certainly. So there's two types of handler, I believe, in uh, in this set. Brilliant. So here we have uh, the bits for kind of the big war mechs that the Epirians use. So that's the body, then main bits that go on it, arms, legs, etc. Um, I don't know about these, it's small, smaller parts, some weaponry, I imagine, and uh, uh, other accoutrements. So that's uh, three bits, but uh, uh, three mini sprues, but the uh, the mechs, when I saw them on the table, absolute, did look really good. So uh, that's going to be <laughs> worth the effort putting those together, I think. And then this odd looking thing seems to be what's called a scarecrow, which is another kind of automata, kind of a light mech, kind of a humanoid size, maybe slightly bigger mech, lots of little bits there. Quite delicate, isn't it? It's quite quite cute and again it shows you the the variation in technique uh, and how they because they're obviously all designed together so that's pretty obviously that these are designed from scratch but it shows you that some soldiers are chunky and well armored and, and some are 
um, done with more nuance and uh, that's really good so yeah scarecrows which are kind of little man-sized mechs great stuff so onto the carist nova or kadarist nova from the uh, it's like a, a character for the carists superb lots of flowy cape-ness going on there very good indeed these are carist troopers so the basic infantry for the carist conclave again look at the slight difference in in size between the elites and the normal gents here a big array of weapons actually so long arms there like specialist weapons there and uh, what approximates to be grenade launchers there that looks like some sort of specialist weapon anyway i'm no expert yet so yeah nice array of weapons on there very good uh, these amazing terrain modification sprues so rather than put a load of um terrain in the box set itself which would be quite costly and they've obviously spent a lot of a lot of resource on the um models themselves what you can do is you uh, you get say a box let's find a box there we go it's a box like so and then you cut these bits off and you put them you know on the on on the uh, on the corners on the edges uh you can put a blooming great door in the middle or a little door like so a little door like that you spread all up and it looks like an amazing futuristic building how ace is that um very popular these are as well i've heard of people buying these sprues on their own um just to do conversions with and uh, I, I like I like that idea a lot. So in addition you get the book as I as I've uh, as I've shown you get a big bag this is a kind of quite sturdy baggy with um, other baggies inside so essentially bases so there are some flying bases there as well see-through flying bases for drones and your, and your minnows um, infantry bases 40 mil at a guess i've not measured them um oh, an errant base for a larger creature monster type thing dice different colors different sizes um no all the same size all the same size different colors that's useful in lots of packs you just get one color and uh, i don't know quite how this game works but i do know that it's often useful you've got different weapons in um groups of, uh, of of men in in, in squads etc it's nice to have different colored dice to designate that cards Ooh, cards what are they for hmm. Ooh. I can smell these because they're out of the packet. Oh yeah, lovely. So they're some sort of event type cards. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Oh, I love the artwork. It's very, very deep space, isn't it? Very, uh, very Eve Online type thing. Look at that, beautiful. And then, oh, what's that? Looks like some sort of stat card. So that might be for the units themselves. That gives me a clue as to what they are as I put them together. So that's going to be enormously helpful. There we go, great. I better find a, a box or a packet for those as well so I can keep them safe. Actually, I'm going to stick them in this resealable baggie, can't I? Oh, aren't you clever? Spiral arm games, I think they're called. Very, very clever of them there, very clever. Ha ha, nice and safe. We, um, <clears throat> have a number of uh, cards three yeah three sheets of cards those two seem identical so um these are some sort of uh, again just watched a couple of videos these are some sorts of um kind of pinning mechanic so bigger ones designate how many uh, units of suppression or pin or you know the psychological element that's very important in war you have on you in your squad at any one time um and then I don't know. I look forward to seeing what all these others, um, all these other um, little counters do. So I'll stick that back in there so it stays flat for the moment. Um, always, always love a flamer template, don't you? So that's uh, that's encouraging to see. Uh, and uh, your blast templates, of course, very important. What's that? Oh, 
Oh, look, there's a little picture of a little little drony thing. Oh, isn't that cute? So we've got yeah, little kind of counter strips here as well. They might I don't know, turn counters or bridge point counters, double sided as well. Very nice. That's clever, isn't it? I do like that. That's a little bit about extra attention to detail. Double sided card cutouts. Very good. So there we go. That's everything you get in the box. Whoa. It's a lot, isn't it? Let's uh, let's try putting some of it together. There we are, Star Commanders, the uh, forces arrayed before you. Um, Painting is going to be quite a job, so I may have to get back to you on, on that. So I'll just show you them as they are when they're put together. So what have we got? first it's become more apparent what they are as we put them together so we should we start with the Epirians first we've got the wonderful spider drones fully a half their force more than half their force is drone or robot based so you've got these spider drones i put a machine gun on top of those you've got two of the hunter mech droids or however you would describe them very good different weapons on there the big flat cannon i think that's called two of those and then one of them's got a fist one of them's got like a big dual machine gun on it's really fun to put together that was that one's got the fist seeking out his uh seeking out his arm there we've got the drone handlers there and there so they are the they're the characters of the uh, of the piece so one's a kind of more advanced one's more of a journeyman i think he's called and you've got the contractors there we go contractors these are your guys that go out and fix things or the colonists etc they go along with the with the force then we've got flying drones and dragonflies or something like that they're called so made off the same body as the spider drones with the kind of little turbines that make them fly and they've got a machine gun on each of their flanks there looks cool i think we've got these are and these are i think they're called scarecrows they're like mini mechs so they're not as big and bulky as the hunters but i think they act like a kind of sniper i think you can split them up and use them as snipers there we are. so that's them that's the uh that's the appearance so as i say um i think 12 robots two of which are very impressive looking things and about six seven eight humans so uh yeah yeah a a, a mechanized army indeed and onto the carist enclave which i didn't have to stop the video and look up just then uh, <laughs> i'm learning i promise here the mighty uh fully grown angel whoa almost arachnid insectoid perhaps six limbs i i let's let's not let's not make distinctions mighty looking and frightening i would i would put forward looking good from all angles as well quite simple though so uh, good to paint i think then we've got the minnows the reply to the drones i guess the, the kind of flying bat winged creatures they remind me of a, a creature i saw on doctor who once actually mm, green stuff then we've got these i think they're called shadow hunters or something like that now you get four on the sprue two of them didn't have heads and that is by design apparently to give you modeling options so i just so i just nicked two heads off of other sprues and just put them on so i've ended up with four of them so like uh, stealthy close combat geniuses apparently then we've got a, a lot of infantry um is the leader Marvellous. Doesn't seem to be armed, so he's all leadership and other types of power. Uh, yet to see what type of power that is. Then we've got the, the normal warriors. I thought they were a bit under gun, but no, I was wrong. They've, they've got long arms and short arms and good combinations of equipment. And then you've got the kind of elite 
gents here in their heavier powered armor and much bigger guns so there we go so i think the next challenge is to find someone to play and uh, tell you how it goes i mean even if i don't get to play the game which i'd like to um it provides models for other games um for, for, for definite for dioramas and stuff but you get a lot in the box for the money that i paid so uh, very very glad of that so thank you for joining me uh, as you run from the maelstrom and remember when it's coming go the other way take care everyone